Hi, my name is Braden O'Gwen, and welcome back to another episode of Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Solange. Solange wants to know, what is RabbitMQ? Great question, Solange. RabbitMQ is one of several message querying libraries that are used to communicate efficiently and losslessly in a scalable distributed system. When you're trying to build an app that needs to send emails, talk to a database, validate data, and do a million things all at once, a distributed system architecture lets all of these tasks happen in their own time and not hold up the entire application. RabbitMQ is a software that implements the Advanced Message Queuing Protocol, or AMQP for short. AMQP is implementation agnostic and sits on top of TCP IP, sort of like HTTP, and is focused on ordered, asynchronous message-based communication with delivery guarantees. Because of its versatility, AMQP is easily extensible, and RabbitMQ implements AMQP in a single ready-to-use library where scalability and persistence require only a few lines of code. Two of the most powerful aspects of RabbitMQ are its item potency and guaranteed delivery. Doesn't matter how many times a message is queued, the framework can ensure that message receivers handle it correctly. If for some reason a message handler cannot complete its task, say because one of your SMTP servers is down, the worker can tell the RabbitMQ message broker to re-add the message to the queue, and it will be sent off to another worker process at a later time. You might need a messaging system like RabbitMQ if your app has to do work that's slowing down your server or making your users needlessly wait. With a message queue like RabbitMQ, you can be sure that messages are delivered, work is completed eventually, and colossal failures won't stop the entire server process, making them not that colossal after all. RabbitMQ is an easy-to-use implementation of AMQP, designed for distributed systems and is a perfect fit for the Internet of Things. If you're looking to scale and make a bulletproof app, RabbitMQ will do the trick. That's it for today's episode. Make sure you tweet your questions to hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments.